Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be the next instalment in my Colours of the Rainbow recommendations and today will be orange covers. So to dive straight in, the first book that I'm going to talk about and this is actually representative of a series rather than an individual book. Um, I'm going to put on screen Summoned to 13th Grave by Dorinda Jones. This is the final book in the series that Dorinda Jones wrote about a young woman called Charlie um, who is a private investigator but she can also see supernatural and paranormal beings. Uh, the story, uh, there's 13 books in the whole series and it's about um, Charlie obviously investigating murders and as she goes along she meets a man called uh, Ray's who is turns out to be her love interest and it follows their romance it follows the danger I read these I binge read them kind of um a few years ago and I was actually getting them out from my library I only own in actual kindle I only own the first and 13th book the rest of the books I got from my library and in fact I actually badgered my library to buy the entire series because I was enjoying them that much and they only had something like the first five so they did then go on and purchase the rest of the series I had to wait for um, Summoned to 13th Grave to be released because that was the final book and um, 12 had been released at the time that I started reading them and I thoroughly enjoyed them they were great fun um, Charlie is really sassy and snarky and she really pushes Ray's buttons and it's just so much fun to read and the romance is quite steamy at times so know that going in obviously there is uh, sexual content in the book um, or the books rather and they're just great fun and I really look forward to actually investing in and rereading them at some point and the next book that I'm going to talk about is Meet Me in Tahiti by George Toffolo. Again, this is kind of representative of the series um, because it is a series that she's been writing or ghostwriting along with other authors. And it's about four friends who have been friends since they were children. And it's about their romances and finding their happy ever afters along the way. Uh, this book is about Marley who is living and working in Hawaii and she meets um, Tom I think he's called and they fall in love. Um, again it's really good, it's contemporary, um, I think it's fade to black uh, when it comes to the sexual content so it's quite a fairly safe read uh, so it is suitable for work um, but yes i have been thoroughly enjoying them the final book in the series comes out i think in march 2022 um but yeah i have been enjoying reading them and i'm thoroughly looking forward to picking up the last one and getting the end of the story getting the final happy ever after for the four girls um the first book is called meet me in london and then there is a third book called meet me in tahiti and i think the fourth book is called meet me at the wedding um <clears throat> so yeah so do thoroughly recommend those if you want a nice light romance read these are actually commissioned by Mills and Boone um so and Mills and Boone are a trusted name in romance so you're guaranteed to have a good time the next book I'm going to talk about is by an author who's a long time favorite of mine and it's also representative of a series rather than just the book itself uh, but the book that I'm going to uh, put on screen is The Dark Tower by Stephen King. This is the final book in his Dark Tower series that he wrote over quite a series of years. Um, I think he wrote the first book late 60s, early 70s, I'm not too sure. Um, and then I think it was finally finished in the early to mid 2000s. And I picked the book up when I was around about 16, 17, I picked the series up and I picked up Wizard and Glass, which is the fourth book in the series. And I read it not realising it was part of a series, but it worked quite well as a standalone. And then I went on and backtracked and read the first three. And then I read the final three as they released. There are seven in the series. And I, then I think there's a companion novella, The Wind Through the Keyhole, uh, which I haven't read. And I do need to get round to reading that at some stage. But yeah, they are a fantasy 
kind of fantasy type series that he wrote um he never really well from the books that i've read he's always been a bit more horror or thriller uh rose matter which is one of my favorites has a little bit of a fantasy element to it but this is the the one that is truly fantasy um it follows roland who is the last gunslinger and he is on a mission to get to the dark tower um to try and repair the world that he lives in and from that he gets companions sucked in from other worlds or from the world that we inhabit um into his world and they accompany him on the journey and they go through various trials and through various dangers and it's the culmination of that the final book um is one for me that i even i can't remember how many years ago it was that i read it um but it's at least 10 years since i've read the final and those last few pages have stayed fixed in my brain i still don't know what i think about the ending whether part of me agrees that it was absolutely the right ending but then part of me thinks you cannot just leave it like that um so yeah so they are a series that i did thoroughly enjoy in the reading i've reread and reread wizard and glass like i say i find that one easy to read as a standalone you don't seem to kind of need the previous three books to actually read it um, but the previous three books, yes, you do need to read them in order. I've reread the previous three books a couple of times, but I've never reread the finale. So at some point, I do want to get in and fully reread the series because I think if I can read them one after the other, then I probably will get a lot more out of it. Whereas reading them disjointedly as I did in the mid noughties. And again, going with the theme of this video, I have picked another book that is representative of a series and in some ways it's representative of an author. Uh, the book that I'm going to put up is Wolf Games by Vivian Arend. This is um, a paranormal romance novel set in Alaska and set around um, wolf pack, uh, we're wolf pack. And it's one of the earliest kind of romance, paranormal romance series that I got into when I started picking them up about 10 years ago. And it was one that as soon as the next book in the series came out, I picked it up and I read it because there were only a few books out when I started reading them. The series, I think, has been completed now. And it is one that I keep thinking about going back and looking at and rereading because she was writing a couple of series at that time, which kind of intersected with each other in some ways so we had this series which was all around the werewolves and then i think there was another series that followed other types of shifter in the same area um i do really enjoy them each book followed a different couple uh, so you had a happy ever after at the end of each book and from there i just really really enjoyed them and vivian arend is an author that I don't read enough of these days. I know she's still writing. I know she's still releasing. I binged her books um, back in 2011, 2012. Um, everything I could get my hands on of hers on Kindle, I would read because they just they just kept me reading. And I was going through a pretty massive um, slump with physical books at that time. And I, I, she just... She's just one of the authors that actually really got me back into reading. And I look forward to actually, again, rereading this series one day. And the final book that I'm going to talk about in this video is again by another author that has been a long, long time favourite of mine since about my early 20s. And the book I'm going to hold up is The Colour of Magic by Terry Pratchett. I love this book. This wasn't the first book that I read of his. The first book that I read was The Last Continent and it was handed to me by a young man that I was uh, dating at the time and I was told to read it because he thought I might enjoy it and I absolutely loved it. I didn't read anything then for a couple of years um, by him but I went to stay with friends who were living um, down in Cornwall at the time and their spare room in their spare room um they had um my friend's collection of terry pratchett books so i was lying there with nothing to read it was dark we'd all gone to bed i couldn't sleep because i was in a strange bed um and i i took one of the books off the shelf and i had a chat with my friend the morning after and she said to me 
read them in order um although the best ones to read to start with if you're going to read them out of order are the death books uh so mort and reaper man i think it was reaper man that i picked up and then i went back and i started reading them in order however i didn't buy them in order um i bought them out of order every every time i went to a bookshop and had some money to spend if i saw that there were terry pratchett books on the shelf i would pick them up um, and I virtually had the entire collection. I think there was only a, maybe a dozen or so that I didn't have from the Discworld. Um, and then I got rid of them all, which I regret doing. Um, they went to Loving Home. Um, but yes, I did get rid of them. I started rebuilding. I've only got the first two, but I'm trying to buy them in order. Um, but anyway, so I should tell you what these are about. These are set in a fictional world called the Discworld, which is sat on the back of four elephants traveling through space on the back of a turtle, giant turtle called Atuin. And they are comedic. They take the mickey out of the world that we inhabit. It has lessons for us hidden in the humor. And I just adore the books and I really need to get into rereading them again. Um, I have been rereading them. I've got them all on my Kindle. So it's not like I haven't got them to read them, but in physical format, I've only got the first two. I think I've read the first six and I really want to get on and read more of them. Like a lot of them I don't remember reading, um, but I did read and read and read these and absolutely loved it. I could read Terry Pratchett books back to back to back because they they never seem to get old uh my favorite um of the series within the series are the death books and also the night watch books um the night watch books probably edge it more than the death based books um initially uh my first favorite was rinse wind but that was because i read the last continent first um but he's kind of fallen out of favor i kind of fell out of love um with the university and wizards at the time that i entered the slump that i mentioned previously back in um 2010 2011 um and maybe slightly before that um i the, i think the unseen academicals was released and i had that in hardback and i just remember trying to plow through it and i got about halfway through it and i had to put it down and say nope can't do it can't read it and yet it wasn't anything to do with the writing. I think it was just the way I felt at the time. And it, it's taken me a long time to get back to Terry Pratchett novels. But I'm looking forward to reading and rereading the series and working through and refreshing my memory on some of the books that maybe didn't stick in my head quite so much. Ones like The Fifth Element and Interesting Times. Um, the ones that I remember most recently are Making Money and Raising Steam and Snuff. Um, but yes, I'm just looking forward to rediscovering the older ones, the ones that maybe weren't quite so, um, the ones that I didn't love quite so much, but I do just adore his writing. And as always, it's extremely sad, uh, that he passed away and that there will be no more work from Terry Pratchett. So those were my recommendations based on orange covers. Did you see in there, any in there that intrigued you? If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Of what are books with orange covers that you particularly enjoyed? I might find something new in there that I've not heard of before. Um, again, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope you've really enjoyed this video. If you have, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I put videos up on YouTube every Monday at 6.30pm UK time. And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.